Ever since I can remember, I was always making something. My name is Niall Livingston. I'm from West Philly. I have a strong sense of community. My family goes back three generations in Philly. I'm used to being around people that I know, family members, friends, and neighbors. Being in this kind of environment has been supportive to me. I've been into art the majority of my life because my grandfather was an architect and my dad was a draftsman. And so I grew up around art supplies and paper materials. And so I was always making something. I'm lucky because my mother went out of her way to expose me to a range of ways to express myself, such as dance and sports and playing an instrument. She found teachers and classes for my sister and I to try and I loved visual art the most because I realized that I could use various mediums within visual arts. And so in that sense, visual arts feels diverse and limitless and experimental. Throughout my whole life, I was into visual art. I was always doodling in class. I really like figurative art, art that tells a story, art that has a narrative. I enjoy making expressive artworks and experimental art. For the most part, I feel as though my art is kind of like a diary entry. It records moments in time. Oftentimes, my art drips and splatters because I love experimenting with the paint. I like to paint with various materials and color combinations to see what feeling or emotion it gives off. I try to open myself up to stumble upon satisfying combinations and then I'll use what I discovered to communicate a message visually. I'm the founder of Creative Repute, a graphic design and website development agency. I work with a deep bench of specialists and experienced strategists, and together we form a collective of knowledge and talent that allows us to explore an array of aesthetics and ideas that can best suit our clients' needs. Much of the work that we do is about learning what the client's needs are. It's important to me that I can balance my time between making experimental art just for art's sake and offering designs and strategies to increase the impact and clarity that a visual work can have on its audience. I took after school mural painting classes when I was in high school at the Philadelphia Mural Arts Program. My focus in college was large scale metal fabrication, but when I graduated, I had a hard time getting a job that would give me opportunity to use the skills that I had. And so I put together a volunteer mural project with one of my childhood friends. After that, through word of mouth, more people began to ask me for help with their art projects. Through research and my computer skills, I began to help other creatives with projects that led to more graphic design commissions. I enjoyed bridging the gap between design and visual arts and marketing to design brands, murals, and impact-driven materials for clients. I'm lucky because my dad's retired and so he has a lot of free time and so he comes out to help me when I'm painting large-scale artworks. He's one of the main figures who exposed me to art growing up. He would take me to museums. I learned to doodle from watching him draw. My dad is my right-hand man. He's beside me when I'm painting large projects.
If I were to look at my life as a masterclass, and if I were to see everyone that I meet as teachers, and if I were to try to translate a little bit about what I'm picking up along this journey, the advice that I would give at this point in my life for others is to try to retain the positive things. And I'd advise others not to fall into the trap of trying to gain validation from anyone that doesn't see your value. I would focus on problem solving, developing, exploring, expanding, and fulfilling expressions of your humanity. How you use your energy to lift up the people around you, that's something that I'm learning. Thank you.